Hey guys. Felicia here. I like to share. I'm eating this fattening food. What fattening food am I eating? Rice. Other thing I want to say is there's no food that is fattening. There's no food that's good. There's no food that's bad. Only food that's fattening is the food that you overeat. Too much of it. So, start, stop removing, not stop, start, stop putting labels, um, stop putting labels on food as if, because this is rice. Mmm, it's so good. And I'm eating fast, and I'm eating while I'm talking, because, to prove a point, I eat carbs, but I want you to see something too. Look, look at this. Carbs don't make you fat. Carbs don't make you fat. Even though I do contouring, labulous. There's no more. There's no uh, contouring. There's not enough contouring in the world to prove like that where I could get rid of fat. So I came on here to make this video real quick to show you when you eat the foods that your body responds to, you can eat whatever you want. You don't have to stop eating rice or potatoes or I don't know, oatmeal. Eat the food. Eat the food. The kicker. I eat the same thing. I'm going to show you all one thing. I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm going to show you my fridge. I want you to see my fridge. This. This food right here. This. I prepare these. I prepare these every week. There's my eggs. I'm going to show you something else that's interesting in here. I told y'all I eat the same thing. So I smoke my chicken, I cut it up, I weigh it, and I put it in here. Guess what I do with this chicken? I make a salad every day. My point is, be very careful about who you listen to. Hey, Denise. If it doesn't make you sick, if it doesn't upset your stomach, if it's not affecting your health, why is it bad? Ask them to tell you why it's bad for you. And it's not, you're not sick. You haven't developed some crazy medical thing. Um, it's not, you're digesting food well. So if all of that is the case, why you can't eat it? Yes, eat foods that serve the body a purpose. Lindsay, thank you. The, and my whole point is, you can eat food. You can eat whatever you want. I'm going to show you. I have these. Sometimes I eat these. They are, it's 420 calories a cookie. I'm not endorsing this. I'm not telling you to eat this. This is a cookie. And it's 420 calories for one cookie. But guess what? And it's Preston's. But if I wanted to eat that cookie, I would eat it. It's not, if I eat, and just guess what? Me eating the cookie is not going to make me gain weight. I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off the phone. Yes. These are my, okay. These are my favorites. Um, what's the other one? And this one too. The snickerdoodle. Oh my god. Rice is not bad. White rice. I'm eating white rice. I have not eaten brown rice in Preston is 15 over 15 years. So 
Y'all start asking people for receipts. Ask them to show you why it's bad for you. There's nothing that's bad for you if you can digest it well. Digestion is so important. And that's why I keep saying, if you can digest it well, your body responds to it well, you're not holding excess amount of water. It is jasmine rice, yes. You're not holding an excess amount of water. You're drinking your water. You're doing all this kind of stuff. There is nothing. So like I said, if I wanted to eat this cookie, I would eat it. It's for Preston. But if I wanted to eat it, I would. The thing is, y'all want people to tell you what to eat. But then when they tell you, you, because you think, okay, if they tell me what to eat, that's going to be the thing. How about you, instead of asking people to tell you what to eat, that you have them show, help guide you to what is going to work best for you. And then you figure out on your own what is going to be most beneficial for you. Stop wanting everybody to feed you information. Yes, they can set you up. For me, I will give you a blueprint. I'll give you, this is recommended carbs, this is recommended protein, this is recommended fats. Then I will give you some suggestions for foods to eat. Suggestions, not telling you, you can only eat this, you can't eat brown rice, you have to eat quinoa. Like, I don't, I, no knock against quinoa. I've never had it before. I eat jasmine rice. I eat six ounces. This is six ounces. I measured it. Later, I'm going to eat four ounces. And guess what? I'm not going to gain no weight. Why? I'm not going to gain weight because I'm eating the foods within my calories and within my protein, carbs, fat, all of that. I'm eating what I need that helps sustain me. When you keep following a meal plan, when you keep following what this person says, and you don't figure out what works for you, you gonna it's going to keep being a loop. You're going to keep looping around. You're going to keep looping around. You're going to keep losing those 5 to 15 pounds. You will lose them, you'll gain them. You'll lose them because you got the plan. Then you'll gain it back because you don't want to eat that way. How about you just figure out how to make the foods that were really sustain your body. Put those together. Eat those foods. And then if it doesn't agree with you, you'll get a, a you'll immediately know how your stomach gonna start hurting. Bubble guts. But I just thought I would show y'all this fattening food that I'm eating. If I want this cookie, if you want the cookie, eat it. If you want the cake, eat it. The question is, how does that fit into your plan? Can you still get your protein in? Can you still get your vegetables? Can you still get your fat in, your carbs in, the water you need? If you can get all that in and fit this in there, eat the damn cookie.